guys. Today we're gonna be opening up a pack of Platinum Arceus, a big boy pack. Yeah, this, this is definitely a big boy pack. It classifies under the big boy criteria. But before we get into that, I do have a small PSA reveal. Uh, ended up grading one of my revised booster packs. I do know the grade. I'm a bit disappointed. Um, as you can see, it's very clean. I mean, this was straight from a box break. Really no flaws in it, no scraping, nothing. I mean, my dog's playing with this tennis ball under the table. Um, th this is like a flawless pack. Those smudges are you're seeing are on the case, but it got an eight. Dude, I don't understand PSA's grading criteria on booster packs. It makes no sense to me. They should really release some information on it because at the end of the day, if it's a complete crapshoot on what you get back, why would I send stuff in? You know, I've done some experimenting, trying to figure it out, but this pack was so clean. I was like, it has to be a nine or a 10. Comes back an eight. I, I genuinely don't get why. Really don't get why on that one, but it is what it is, whatever. Let's get into the big boy pack. So Platinum Arceus, you can get uh, level X Gengar. It's probably the biggest card. Uh, no, 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 they're shiny reverse hollows that are bigger. You can get those. Um, you can get uh, actually some pretty good uh, regular rares, like Gengar, the Pichu I think is pretty expensive. Kind of random, but those are worth a few bucks. Um, and there's some hollow rares you can get that are good. And I think like Salamence level X is in this. Yeah, there's some stuff. My dog is playing under the table. That's what that noise is. Um, stepping out of ancient times comes a Pokemon so mighty and legendary it says it shaped the universe. Uh, of the Pokemon TCG. Cool, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, I don't think this is a repack. Really hope it's not. Uh, we'll find out today. I decided I kind of wanted to do like one big boy pack every month. I think that's kind of fun. Good rate to do it at, but let's go ahead and carefully open that up. Beautiful, B-E-A-U-T-Full. My dog is now dropping his ball. <laughs> All right, let's pop this puppy open. Okay. I, I don't know the card trick. I'm trying to get these out carefully. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do two. One, two to the front. Let's try two to the front. It might be three. I really don't know. Uh, but there we go. We got ourselves a shell gone. Why is it so blurry? Is it the lighting? It's very dim lighting today. I don't have my lights. And my dog's dropping more things. Okay. <laughs> then we have a buffer piece. There's that bronze ore we saw earlier. Gulpin. Gulpin these nuts. <laughs> my radio. We got a Trico, there's a starter. That's not too bad. I like it. Then we got ourselves Cherubi, Cherubi, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, these cards looking mighty clean and mighty centered too. Yeah, this is looking good, this is looking good. And we have a Rattata. Nice. Okay. <laughs> That's a big hitter. That's one of the Arceus reverses. Um, that's worth some cash. Hot dang, okay, that's pretty nice right there. Um, wow. All right, there's still two more cards. So I was wrong, the pack trick is three. So we'll go one from the back. No, 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 one from the back now. <laughs> and that is going to be a bench shield. And then, oh, a Gengar. Okay, actually, that's not even bad. That's, <laughs> it's just a regular old, uh, regular rare Gengar, but that's not bad. The Arceus is definitely the best hit though that we got. Weirdly enough, Reverse Hollows in this have better potential than most of the Hollow hits you can get. Like there's all the Shinies as well as the Arceus cards. Let's get a sleeve for it actually. 
There we are. Whew. That's a nice hit. There you go, Arceus. Probably gonna get that graded. Actually, wait. Go ahead and check the back out. Come on. Here we go. Um, decently centered. Little bit of whitening on that top right corner. Little bit on the bottom right. Not major though. Certainly not major. And the front looks very solid. So that that could be a decent nine, maybe a 10. 10's a bit of a stretch. Um, front centering is not as good. I'd say it's probably a solid nine. And then the Gengar, definitely worth a sleeve as well. Um, I think there's a few Gengar non hollows you can get, but they all actually are fairly decent. Bit of a chip at the bottom right. Everything else looks okay though. Centering wise, it's okay. But that's not bad, that's actually kind of a double banger, even though it's just a regular rare right there with the Gengar. Um, not bad, I'm also curious to see the prices for the regular common cards. I doubt anything crazy, I'm gonna guess probably the Trico is our best one. Maybe the Shellgons a little bit since it's an uncommon, but kind of doubt it. I'll probably sleeve these up. It's good to see that this was not a repack. That's always very nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was that was fun to open. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.